feeling gothic today and perhaps it's because today's topic of conversation not really conversation I guess because it's more of a monologue is an ode to the INFP personality type and perhaps if I think of goths I think of someone that probably has introverted feeling pretty high on their function stack they're deeply in tune with their feelings um, so that would be someone like an INFP or an ISFP. If I was a betting woman, I would say that most goths are probably fit into those categories, but I'm sure there are a variety of goths out there. Um, so I guess I should get right into it. I just wanted to say that if you're an INFP or you believe yourself to be an INFP, I think you guys are just the loveliest creatures in the fairest forest land. <laughs> You'll know what I mean. I just think that um, as an NF myself, I definitely am able to connect very easily with, uh, with other NFs along with NTs. Those are the two that I get along with really well. And then there's the STs and the SFs um, that sort of fall underneath that. So uh, I just, I, I was gonna, I'm gonna put this probably in the description below, but I don't think I've ever met an INFP I didn't like. You guys are authentic, you're caring, you're sensitive, you're in touch with your feelings, you care about people, and you're usually highly creative. I mean, you're in great company, you're um, with, the greats like Shakespeare and Tolkien, um, and the list just continues endlessly. So I just wanted to say thank you for being you. I notice INFPs are true to themselves and they don't get swayed by the judgment of others, which is a beautiful thing and it's what the world needs. I don't know your experiences, but I'm willing to bet that it's probably been a struggle to growing up especially to um, go against the grain and be yourself and fight against what society wants you to be or what your family wants you to be or just expectations of others but because that's such a core value of yours you've stuck to it and that is beautiful so the world needs more of you the world needs more of your voices to be heard and you have a beautiful gift of knowing yourself to such um, in, in, in a deep degree. Like you know the core of who you are. So share that and let people know it's okay for them to be themselves too. So in that vein, my wonderful INFPs, my lovely uh, inspired Inspirers. I think you guys are very inspiring. I will say that much. I think I've always left the presence of an INFP feeling accepted and inspired. So thank you for that. And my cat is just having a field day. She loves it when I start filming. That's when she comes in here. So I also want to talk about um, one of my favorite bands from the 80s, Depeche Mode. I wore my Depeche Mode shirt for you guys. And if you're into electronic music, 80s music, synth pop, you'd probably love them as well or have heard of them as well. Um, the reason I am tying in INFPs and Depeche Mode is that Martin Gore, this guy right here, Martin L. Gore, the primary songwriter, and he sometimes sings, he's not the lead singer, that's Dave Gahn over here. Uh, <laughs> awkward placement. But um, he is, I believe, an INFP. Now, you guys can tell me I'm incorrect or give me your guesses, but I would bet money on that, especially his lyrics. If you um, look at a lot of the Depeche Mode songs uh, written by Martin L. Gore, they are very much in the similar vein of an INFP writing style with a lot of metaphor, a lot of feeling, um, depth. Um, it's just beautiful. I always find that I resonate best with um, INFP writers. Oh, there's the focus again. I gotta figure that one out. Um, I find that I resonate 
um, best with INFP songwriters and writers pretty consistently. I don't know that there's one that I've heard and or read and thought, no, usually I'm like, ooh, they get it. So again, my fellow NF brethren, we get each other. And again, intuitive, I should say in general intuitive because it's similar with NTs. Yeah, I love my NTs as well. Not to say sensors are wonderful too, and I've definitely read and enjoyed sensor materials uh, and creative art, but I find that uh, something about, typically, I should say, typically something about intuitive creative works really get me. So I wanted to share my art that I made, uh, which is the album cover of Depeche Mode's A Broken Frame. There it is. Someone out in the field cutting the wheat. It's actually a really beautiful photograph. If you look at the album cover itself, I try to do it justice. This one's more realistic. I usually end up with a cartoon style. Um, but this one I try to keep the realism. I try to keep with the realistic style because the photograph that they use is just beautiful. And I actually think they won awards for the, or the photographer won awards for this album cover. Um, this album, uh, it's funny I painted this one. I actually, it's not my favorite Depeche Mode album. I actually think Music for the Masses might be my favorite. Um, but this one really resonated with me at the time that I painted it. And um, there are some great tracks. I love how the whole album starts. It almost sounds like a Gregorian chant. Um, and if you're not familiar with Depeche Mode, they are very much, they almost have, to me, a vampiric quality, at least with Dave, Gon Bo Dave Gon's vocals, which is really cool. I love that. And, and sort of a, they lean more towards like an industrial goth style. So if you're into that, you should check them out. Um, but I don't want to spend too much time on that. I just want to say thank you, INFPs, for being you. You are appreciated. We see you. I think sometimes you probably don't feel seen. I would love to hear your comments, uh, your experiences being an INFP growing up, or um, just anything you want to anything you want to say at all. This is your this is your chance to shine and say, give me your two cents because I'm not an INFP. Um, at least I don't believe to be. I haven't been officially typed by anyone, so um, but I don't think I am but I admire those who are. So keep shining. You are bright, sparkly unicorns in a gray sky and we need you. So thank you for your, for your creativity, for your authenticity, for your depth, um, and for your warmth and love. So go forth and be awesome. All right, guys, um, have a magical, mystical day. I might change my sign off. I don't know. I keep thinking I want to. I don't know if I like to stay weird, my friends. So have a magical, mystical day. Bye.